Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a film emulation tool called the Hanser for DaVinci Resolve. Um, just going to show around uh, the features and uh, then we're going to grade some footage with it. So um, let's do it. So what we have here is material from a commercial that I shot. And we're going to try to use some of it on here. All the material that I'm going to grade is shot with Ccam E2 F6. And I'm going to show you my workflow for uh, easily correcting the footage and um, starting to grade it. So starting off, Ccam has their own uh, color correction tool, a plugin that you can download from their website. And it's uh, the easiest way to just correct the footage. Uh, one of the things that I recommend doing first is use the purple edge remove. The image of a Ccam tends to go more to the um, uh, purple tone and therefore probably they've put this uh, thing in. Also, I think I need to uh, press this down a couple of stops, four stops. This footage is uh, shot on uh, uh, C-RAW and um, then converted to uh, ProRes 422. All right, so let's put another node in there and uh, we're going to apply the Dehancer Pro on there. Boom. I'm going to walk you through some of the stuff here. If you have a camera in this list, you can choose it, but uh, unfortunately not the C-Cam. I've talked with them and um, they have just recommended some different way to do it and to experiment with it. And uh, hopefully uh, there will be a C-Cam um, selection soon. But my way to do it has been, um, uh, as I said before, applying the C-Log uh, color correction tool on the first node. And basically it puts it to um, kind of Rec 709 and then I just choose Rec 709 on the Dehancer. After that uh, we have the um, film stocks and for now they have 53 different film stocks. Not all of them are um, of my taste I would say but um, there's a lot of them that are really really great. So you could just play around there and uh, check and see what you like. That's what I recommend. I'm not gonna go too deep into everything here. The tonal contrast is great um, it's not affecting the shadow and highlights uh, and um, so that's really really nice got exposure here and tonal contrast and that's great because it's not affecting the shadows and highlights um, color density of course saturation the color head is a little hard to explain actually but it's basically tint and white balance but it affects the image in a way that is very well calculated by Dehancer to emulate how it would be processed if it were analog. There's a very good article about this on Dehancer's website, so I recommend checking that out if you want to dive deeper into it. Film grain, uh, same as in a lot of different uh, film emulation tools and in DaVinci. I would say the feature in uh, Dehancer feels more well designed uh, than the grain in Film Convert, for example. It's um, organic and there's uh, depth to it that I like, so um, really nice. Then we have the halation. Um, halation is basically a halo effect that shows itself mostly in highlights and around edges of stuff. For film emulation, I would say it's uh, really an uh, effect that puts the icing on the cake to get the feel and um, to make it look analog. So bloom is an effect that often comes together with halation uh, in film. There is often bloom and a little bit of reddish halation inside. Um, bloom is an effect that sort of does the same job as a pro mist filter or hairspray on the lens, um, but at the same time it's a whole other thing. Um, it depends a little bit how you use it, but it really takes the digital edge of the image um, and does a really good job doing that actually. Then you got the vignette, you got the film breath and gate weave. So film breath is basically uh, explained as if you were having auto white balance and auto exposure on your camera. It's a um, color shift, uh, exposure shift uh, in the image that's, that sometimes happen when you were scanning film. Gate weave um, is also an artifact that happens when you were scanning film. It's the movement of the film uh, in the scanner, so it's uh, making the film wobbly and uh, flopping back and forth so back to this image, we're going to grade this now. We have the Rec 709 here, or the C-Log color correction. We're going to add another node and we're going to put the Hanser Pro on top. As you saw before, it's a um, kind of greenish tone on here. We're going to change to um, Kodak Vision 350D, see what happens. 
a little bit warmer tone and we are going to put some tonal contrast on there and see what happens somewhere there also gonna push the color density a little bit more to make it pop somewhere there i think we have it also going to show the shot we are um, going through a window here and we're going inside here so also want to put some halation on top um, see if we can make those um, lights candle lights and all the lights in the um, in the christmas tree to pop i'll recommend using the mask mode to see where is the effect visible and uh, that's a good start so that you don't have to um, zoom in and, and all that uh, to find where it is happening. Go back from the masking mode. You can instantly see what happening, what's happening around all the highlights here. Uh, and of course, this is too much, uh, at least for my taste. I will put it down a little bit. I want the effect to, to be... Um, shown but not uh, not too much of course i think there we're good so if i enable and i push it down if i enable and back and forth you will see the effect around all the way here i'm quite happy about how this turned out and um, let's do another one so this is shot from a commercial that i made for a bike repairing company and uh, it's shot in uh, progress 42 4k and i've already applied the um, c log color correction tool add another node add the dehancer pro already from the um, what it looks now i really like it um but we're gonna see if we can push it a little bit we go down to the um, color head and uh, try to just pull it back and forth see what happens i really like to just test it out i like to pull back and forth uh, do the maximum and the minimum that's the best way to see like how it's how is the effect um, affecting the image uh, so i recommend doing that not to just sit and pull a small amount all the time uh, you can do that when you are uh, fine-tuning that's my recommendation we had uh, cyan filters on uh, two quasar tubes here so um, it's already from start kind of blue greenish tone and i that's what we want um, but we also want a little bit more like the brown uh, reddish tones in the um, in the dark parts i'm kind of happy with, about that uh, i'm gonna add some more color density to it um, and then i'm gonna go down and add some more grain so a nice thing about uh, the film grain is that you can use the film resolution uh, slider here i think film resolution is sometimes what gives it away and that it's digital because um, it tends to be too sharp and uh, so when you pull this bar down you get a little bit more um, soft and uh, not that sharp tones and that's taste um, do it how you want i like to have it somewhere in the middle i think that's looks great for this one We'll put some halation here, uh, again, enable mask mode, try to see where it um, ends up. I'll see it's of course around the edges of the lights. We'll go push and pull here a little bit. Just, I want it around the, the, the lights. Right, boom. Uh, I like that. Somewhere around here, around the, around the handlebars of the bike. I think it looks cool. So I'm quite happy about this shot. This is back and forth. Um, all right, let's do another one. So again, all these shots are from a C cam, and uh, this particular one is uh, shot in uh, Rec 709. I'm going to try see what happens if we just put the Dehancer Pro in another node here. So Rec 709 Dehancer. I like it from the start, um, actually. Uh, but I'm gonna try to uh, add some more color density to it. To just uh, make her face a little bit nicer tones in the hair. And uh, we're gonna go down here and add some more uh, green tone to it, because I like that. A little bit more 
blue not too much because it's um, for me blue is digital and uh, green is more uh, film that's personal preferences of course some more grain and we're gonna play a little bit with the halation and um, see what happens the masks here it is amplify right somewhere there and uh, I like the red uh, tone actually it's too much but I like it um, gonna put it down a little bit somewhere there um, basically it's um, it's emulating what happens in a, in in the scanning process of of uh, real film and back then uh, you really didn't want this effect so um, I think the best way to if you want to emulate a film you you should have uh, some of it but not too much but yet again that is um, personal preference All right I have another one here this is shot in h265 uh, 4k and we are gonna add another note to it I've already put the um, seal of color also I should mention boom it's a little bit too green I'm gonna see if we can put the color vision 50d on it I like that because it's as I said before it's a little bit warmer put some tonal contrast there gonna go down to um, bloom and see if we can put some of that on and also if you put the mask mode on and you do the amplify it and try to see how much and go back and forth this is too much I think but um, it's nice to see what happens just gonna have a little bit of it I think that's nice and add some halation also push it down push it down I like how it pops right near her arms and a little bit around her head go back here put some more a little bit more green to it maybe a little bit more color density and I think I want some more contrast in here. All right. Rec 709 log. Rec 709 dehancer. Boom. I think that's another great shot. So I have several projects coming up where I tend to use uh, dehancer. I'm starting to feel really comfortable with it. I think it shows a great result. We will do another one. This is Jonas. I think we will just add another node there. We'll put the dehancer there. And we will do the auto expand. As it is now, I think it's very desaturated. We will try to put some color density. We'll max that out. I think it will go back to the um, C logger C log color correction plugin and then we'll put the saturation up a little bit look at his face now that's really nice um, all right so we go back here and we will see what we can do in the color head I think I will put some more green in there I'll see if we can put the exposure a little bit up it is a dark image and I want it to be like that but we will try see what we can do add a little bit more grain to it and we will go down to the halation we'll push amplify see where the effect is showing not at all like that push it down a little bit Try to use the bloom effect here also. Um, add some bloom here. Like that. Boom. Halation, put it down because I saw 
It's uh, showing up in his face. I pushed it a little bit too hard. We will push it down. I think that is nice. We'll go back up again uh, and try to put some more green into it. Like that. Something right there and some more contrast. So that's it. Rex 709. Relation log rec 709 dehancer awesome all right so I have another shot here this is also shot on ccam for a, a commercial and we will add some dehancer right there it looks awful to me uh, we will try to fix that by uh, switching to another film stock we will go by the Agfa Agfa Color RXS 200. I think this looks more the way that uh, I want it to look. Go back into C Color and put up the saturation. I feel that's something that I do quite often, so I recommend uh, doing that. Add some tonal contrast. And just to be clear, uh, for this commercial, I wanted. Um, image to be cooler and uh, a little bit more raw. So that's why I'm going for the, um, the bluer tones. A little bit more tonal contrast in here, like that. Uh, we're gonna put up the color density a little bit more so it pops. Gonna play around a little bit with the color head. Not too much, because I like how it looks. Like that. Gonna add some more film grain to it. Nice. And we will add some halation. You almost can see it a little bit on the um, cables here, around the edges. Put it down a little bit. Bloom, I don't know if I want it in this one. Um, yeah, I think we're good. It was quite a hard shot. I was filming from a car and this was just seconds of this that was um, intended to be used. So, um, but we got it and uh, it ended up in the commercial. So really happy about it. Sometimes you just don't need a, a rig, car rig to uh, get nice shots. Just put up the tripod in the back seat and film straight out of the window. So Dehancer is a really good plugin. I've just started to use it now and uh, I will say it's really, really good. And I intend to use it on uh, several projects coming up. Uh, a cool feature that I would hope to see in an update would be dust in uh, some form. That would be cool. But for this now, I'm really happy about it. So Dehancer didn't pay me to say anything about the plugin. They did provide me with a promo code and it's Gustavsson. So if you consider buying the plugin, use the link in the description and you get 10% off. Thanks for checking in. Subscribe if you like and see you soon. Bye.